New developments tonight in what investigators are calling a colossal bail bond scheme in Harris County. We told you yesterday it involves a bail bond company accused of falsifying records to make it easier for the defendants to get bond. But tonight, family members of some of those defendants charged say their loved ones got caught up in something they knew nothing about. Annie Ellie Ruiz has the story for us tonight. Annie Ellie? Well, that's right. These family members tell us they allegedly did not know what was happening at this bail bond place. They also say they fear that the feds will come after the loved ones who also co-signed on these bonds. It was early Wednesday morning when the FBI with local agencies conducted a massive raid across our city. And one of the people arrested? Yes, sir. 43-year-old Patrick Brown, one of the 53 people indicted in a bail bond scheme involving Houston-based A. Able Bonds. Brown faced five charges from 2020 to 2022, totaling a bond of over $500,000. His mother, Yvette Brown, received a call from him while he was in jail. He called, he said, we have a bail bond that I guarantee to get me out because his bond was so high. Yvette and her family paid 19000 in cash to secure his release. Now Yvette's son, Michael Ford, and her brother, Cornelius Brown, who helped bail him out, are facing charges in a wire fraud scheme involving falsified documents. Court documents allege they electronically falsified a pay stub. They know that it was like this here. If I knew that they had we went somewhere else. Judge Juanita Jackson sits on the Harris County Bell Board and said she was surprised to hear about the case yesterday and says bail documents need to be taken seriously. It is a legal document. You are swearing to an affidavit. It is notarized. It is uh, in anything that is not appropriate. If you are signing it and you're putting wrong information or you're being untruthful at any time, you risk legal action. Now, Yvette told me two years ago, the feds showed up at their doorstep talking to everyone involved. She said they thought they were good. Again, they were caught by surprise by this entire ordeal. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.